Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Shanti. So before we jump into today's video, we have a sponsor. So thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video. So if you're not familiar with Timu, Timu is basically an online marketplace that offers very affordable prices and lots of different categories like jewelry, kitchen supplies, home decor, seasonal decor, clothing, shoes, you name it and I am pretty sure that they have it. Timu is having a massive site-wide sale up to 90% off. So make sure you head over to Timu.com or download the Timu app. I have the Timu app on my phone. And you guys, even though this video is sponsored, I have purchased Timu with my own money on several occasions. So I definitely have the app on my phone. All of the items that I'm going to be showing you guys, they will be linked down below in the description box. So be sure to head over to the website, download the app, use my code. I'm going to leave my code right here on the screen. So some of the things that I personally love about Timu is they have free shipping within the US and then also free returns if you return it within 90 days. And then if you order something and then the price has dropped, if it's been within 30 days, you can get a partial refund. Okay, so starting with probably one of my favorites from this entire haul is this maple tree branch. You guys, this is so pretty. It's really pretty and I put it in my laundry room as you can see and it's perfect here. So the next thing I ordered were these wall bats. They come in 88 pieces. They have stickers in the back and they're reusable. Next are these LED branches. You guys, I love using this in my fall decor, also my Christmas decor. They look pretty by themselves, like in a vase, or you can just pair it with stems that you already have. I think they're so So pretty. clearly I love lights. The next thing is this branch tree. You can use this for all different seasons. In my opinion, this is a perfect touch for Halloween decor. The next thing are these little felt acorn ornaments. How cute are these? So if you're a person who does like a fall tree, these would be super cute to put on the tree and these come in 10 pieces. All right, so moving on to these math posters. I love getting my kids things that they can learn from. These cards have 2D and 3D shapes, math keywords, place value, addition, division, multiplication, subtraction, numbers, and fractions. It's an eight piece set and I know my children will get good use out of this. Look how cute this Halloween, I don't know if I should say cute because it's Halloween, but I think it's cute. It's a canvas poster. And I think for next year, I'm going to have it framed, but it is really nice. If you don't know anything about me, know that I'm a sucker for tumblers and glasses and mugs. Look how cute this is. You guys, I have been loving drinking my iced coffee. I'm going to drink a whole lot of iced coffee, but oh my goodness, isn't this so cute? I drink my water out of this. Ever since I got this glass, you guys, I have been using it nonstop. Mm -hmm. Speaking of glasses, I got this one as well. It's like really aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. Such a cute, fun glass. I got this one as well. This just helps me for the most part to make my iced coffee without making a mess. So I'll typically use this for the ice cubes that I have, or I'll use it for like mixing the foam that I put on top of the iced coffee. I also got this large rose flower ice cube tray. You can even use this to make soaps. I've made soaps from it before. So you definitely can use this mold for more things than just ice. I also got this six pack of coffee colored gel pens. I love all things stationary. This comes as a six pack. So if you're like me and you like all things stationary, then you'll definitely love these coffee colored pens. Look how cute this cardigan is, you guys. This cardigan is so cute and it's comfortable and it's perfect for this weather. I'm a sucker for a good cardigan. I don't know about you guys. I also got this controller stand. You can also use it for a headphone stand. I got it for my son so his controllers could be organized. He has a PS5. It helps him to keep his dresser like clutter free. So I absolutely love how it looks. I got this stainless steel tumbler for Khaleesi. She really loves it. It really helps her to consume a lot of water as well. <laughs> Look at these straw protectors. Aren't these so cute? I mean, these are the cutest. I absolutely love it because it can protect your straw. And it came as a three-piece set. So cute. And they are compatible with the Stanley Cup. I got some more of these disposable air fryer paper liners. You guys, I will no longer cook in my air fryer without these because it really helps with the mess. 
I mean, there's like very little to no mess when I use these. Absolutely essential in my house. For those of you guys that know my daughter, you know that she's always been obsessed with Hello Kitty. Isn't this so cute? Like, can we get more cute? This is absolutely adorable. I was so excited to show her this. She's so excited to have it in her room. It is, oh my goodness, you guys, I, I love it. And then last but not least, I got this cinnamon roll crossbody bag. Khaleesi absolutely loves it. Khaleesi is my nine-year-old and she fell in love when she seen this. So that's everything that I got in my haul. As you can see, like I said in the beginning, they have a large variety of things. Home decor, I showed you glasses, clothing, all kind of stuff we had in this haul, you guys. Download that Timu app. Don't forget to use my code. My code will be right here on the screen once again. Please be sure to click the link in the description box so it can lead you to the Timu app. Also, another incentive besides, like, you need another incentive, but if you do, if you download that Timu app, when you click the link, you'll get a $100 coupon bundle. So not $100 off, but it is a $100 coupon bundle. Thank you once again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. You're all that I want, could you let me in? The last drink was the last drink But I don't want to leave I want to get closer Don't want this night to be over I want to get I'm curious, when you have multiple loads of clean laundry to fold, where do you put it? I always put it on the couch. I don't know why I do that, but I do. It starts off in the laundry basket, but then once it gets like soup, you know, full, like where I can't add any more, I just go ahead and put it on the couch. As I'm talking to you guys right now, I have about three loads of clean laundry sitting on my couch once again. How many of you have already started to decorate for Christmas? I have a little later in the video, you'll see me take down the like fall decor and a little bit of the Halloween decor that I have up. I will say those black and white checkered pillows, I really liked them. I like how they looked, but I only put them out for Halloween. Nevertheless, Christmas is definitely appearing and making its way in my house. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you've seen that I already had pulled out everything and I've sorted it. Um, my house looks kind of crazy, but that's how it always looks when I'm, you know, going in between decorating for seasons. And we actually have already put, we put two of the Christmas trees up so far. Over, wanna get closer, it's not over, yeah. We could go back to my place, cause I don't wanna waste no precious time. So let's go back to my place, if it's only for the night, let's make I try to operate on a FIFO like system. FIFO is F-I-F-O, first in, first out. 
Anyways, if I hadn't put the scent beads in there recently, what I do is I like to pour those out, pour the new beads in, and then put the ones that I poured out on top. They probably don't go bad, you guys, but that's how my brain works. And this is what I've been doing for my whole entire life. So if you're wondering why I put those in the plate, that's why. I had just put the detergent that's currently in the jar in there like two days prior so that's why I didn't do the same thing I did with the same beads I always get questions about these glass canisters. I got them from Target. They're part of the Threshold brand and I've had mine about two years, but they still carry them. If you're new here in each one of my videos, I like to either recite a motivational, inspirational quote or phrase, sometimes a Bible verse. And oftentimes when I find these like inspirational quotes or phrases, it all, it has to be something that resonates with, with me or something that I need to hear myself. So for today's motivational quote, it is seek to be whole, not perfect. And when I read that, I was like, wow, that's, some things are just like really profound. And that just got me. Seek to be whole, not perfect. And I think we need to remember that. It's more important to be com feel complete than try to aim for perfection. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. For dinner tonight, we're making Mexican corn white chili chicken. Just take our time. Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind. My mind. So just sit with me. So the very first thing you want to do is add your chicken to the pot. Now keep in mind you can use a rotisserie chicken. I just like to do things as fresh as possible, especially if I have the time. I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we now clearly my chicken has already been cleaned. And then I also slice the chicken breasts so they cook a little faster. To the water, we're going to add some Lari seasoned salt. I showed you all of the seasonings, but we're going to add seasoned salt, chili powder, black pepper, garlic powder, and oregano. So while the chicken is boiling, we're going to go ahead and dice up our jalapenos and yellow onion. Look out, here she comes. The woman 
that I love It's too bad you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't so the chicken has been boiling for about an hour now, maybe a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and remove it and shred it. These feelings that I've never felt before, but she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody. One good thing about making your own chicken is you get to use that delicious chicken broth. It's much more tasty and actually better for you than the um, like the canned chicken broth. But, but I do be using that sometime too, you guys, okay? I mean, like I said, it just depends on how much time you have, okay? We're gonna continue to shred this and then I'm gonna show you guys the next step. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but this was four chicken breasts. Without knowing she did. But I guess that it will pass. Yeah, I can't be. Okay, so over here in this pot, I have some avocado oil. You can use olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil you like. To this pot, we're gonna add the one jalapeno that we diced up. And then we diced up about three fourths of the yellow onion. But I have to try, try as hard as I can. Cause you'll never be mine. We're also gonna add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. To this mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the chili powder and a little bit more oregano. We're gonna let all these flavors marry together for about a minute or two. Okay, so this has been cooking for about a minute and a half or so. We're gonna go ahead and add the corn. And this was 10 ounces of frozen corn. This is about a fourth cup of cilantro. You can add a little bit more if you like. Beans are optional. I'm not gonna use beans this time, but you most definitely can if you like that. We're gonna add the shredded chicken. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken broth. We're gonna add some lime, sour cream, And then we're gonna add some shredded cheese. You can add whatever cheese you like. This is a combination of Monterey and cheddar. And we're just gonna stir this up. Something isn't right. Tell me again what I'm missing. Cause you're fading on. We've been here before. Tell me again, just tell me again. And you guys, that's it. Once everything is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to a bowl and add the toppings, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it is a new day and I'm just going around the house, well back and forth between the formal dining area and the living room and I'll be removing all of the fall and Halloween decor and then I'll also be dusting. Tell me again what I'm missing Cause you're fading on We've been here before Tell me again, just tell me again and I
then once again, here I am using the Method Wood for Good to clean the TV stand. You guys, I don't use anything else for my wood. I absolutely love how this smells. I like how it how it cleans. And so it's just my favorite. I've been using it for years. I always tell you guys about it. I think most people have tried it. And either I think I feel like either you love it or you don't. It was so easy when we met. Future ahead of us making memories. Our only hope is to forget. And keep that passage closed for centuries. Cause I can take it anymore. Forgetting what I'm fighting for. And your words just stop. For those of you guys that are not aware, I do have a vlogging channel. It's called Shanti Life Vlog. Over there, I still do a lot of the same things I do here. Clean, cook, do, we have hauls over there. It's just kind of structured differently. So on Shanti's lifestyle, it's just more of a planned video, whereas a vlog is not planned. You just film, you pick up the camera and whatever you get is what you get. And of course I edit it, but it's just kind of structured differently. And I feel like the vlogs are a little bit more personable. You can't keep holding on to your past. Yeah. Get out, get under and just relax. And that's what my friends are telling me. You guys know I love talking to you guys about shows, what shows I'm watching, what shows you're watching. Last year, I told you guys about a show called The Gilded Age. It comes on Hulu. So if you like shows that take place in the late 1800s, early 1900s, definitely go check that out. Also, you guys, I love some... I like reality TV. I also call it Ratchet TV. I like rea uh, reality TV. So I'm very excited that The Real Housewives of Potomac is going to be coming back on very shortly. Let me know down below what you're watching, what kind of shows you like to watch. I know a lot of people like to read the comments and see what everyone's watching. Issues. I know I got issues. Hate you then. I miss you again. Selfish. I can be so selfish. Spend more time with me than your friends. Forgive my attitude I want my cake and eat it too But a little grace would be enough for me to prove Baby, you the remedy You're my mirror, I can finally see Bringing out the best in me, yeah I don't want no problems But I know I got a lot a lot of you asked me about my monthly dinner menu so we're about to plan the dinner menu for the month of November I have three dinner menus that I've told you guys about often I make these well over like ten, let me see this one was made in 2011 and these two were made in 2011 and this one was made in 2012 so I use these I laminated them and I kind of use these as like just ideas and then I also have some ideas in my phone that way I don't have to think too hard about what to put on the menu so we're gonna be using that and then I have a list here I just keep this in my phone under dinner entrees therefore like I said it's just not too hard when it's time for me to sit down and plan the monthly menu out so I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna write everything out and then once I'm done writing the menu out I'll go ahead and go over it therefore any of you guys are interested and are in need of ideas you can get some Deep. 
A lot of people always ask me if I follow this exactly like day by day. And I do not, you guys. This is more of a guide. So it takes some pressure off of me. That may sound odd, but sometimes it's overwhelming trying to think about what to cook and then also cooking it. So basically, if, for example, on one day I have chicken fried rice, I may not want to eat chicken fried rice or my family may not want to eat that. Or I may not want to make it. So then I'll jump ahead or, you know, I'll, I'll just look around and see what it is I want to make. And then more than likely, because I've already went grocery shopping, I have the items that I need to make whatever it is that I want to make. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, you guys, so we're all done. So for the month of November, first of, all, first of all, everything that's in blue are leftovers, okay? So on the first, I'm gonna do chicken fried rice and veggies. The second, spaghetti and salad will have leftovers on Friday the third. On Saturday, I'm gonna make shrimp fajitas and Mexican rice. On Sundays, I like to make a big meal, therefore I have leftovers on Monday. So on Sunday the fifth, we're gonna have meatloaf, cabbage, mashed potatoes. Monday the sixth, we'll have leftovers. Tuesday the 7th, chicken burritos. Wednesday the 8th, chicken alfredo. We'll have leftovers on Thursday the 9th. On the 10th, we'll have chicken enchiladas. Then we'll have leftovers on the 11th because we're gonna actually go somewhere during the day. So it's perfect just to come home to leftovers. On the 12th, Sunday the 12th, we'll have lasagna, salad, and garlic bread. On Monday the 13th, we'll have leftovers. On Tuesday the 14th, we're gonna have ground turkey tacos and rice. Wednesday the 15th, we'll do shrimp po' boy sandwiches. On Thursday, I'll do a sausage rice skillet. And then on Friday the 17th, we'll do pizza night. We'll have leftovers on the 18th. We're actually gonna be going out that day anyway, so we'll probably have like a late lunch. So whatever we don't eat, whatever we didn't eat throughout the week, we'll basically have leftovers on Saturday the 18th. On Sunday the 19th, I'm gonna do pot roast, mashed potatoes, and veggies. On Monday the 20th, there'll be leftovers. On Tuesday the 21st, I'll do a chicken and green bean stir fry. We'll probably have leftovers, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook on Wednesday the 22nd, and I'll be making baked chicken, potatoes and carrots in the oven. And then on the 23rd, it's Thanksgiving. So my family only eats leftovers for two days, you guys. So we'll have leftovers on Friday and Saturday, the 24th and 25th. And then on the 26th, I'll make honey chipotle chicken strips and macaroni and cheese and probably some kind of vegetables. We'll have leftovers on Monday the 27th. On Tuesday the 28th, I'll do shrimp scampi. On Wednesday the 29th, chicken fajita bowls. And then on Thursday the 30th, we'll do chicken salad and rolls or garlic bread. Uh, I hope this menu was able to give you guys ideas. If there's anything specific that you wanna see a recipe on, let me know down below so I can film that for you. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload future videos. I will see you guys next time. Also, please don't forget to head down to my description box so you can check out the link and download the Timu app.